give the floor to the representative of the Russian Federation. Thank you, Madam President. We thank the Special Envoy of the Secretary General for Syria, Mr. Patterson, for his overview on the situation in Syria, and we have listened carefully to Turaya Hijazi. We support the continuation of the inter-Syrian consultations in Geneva within the Constitutional Committee. We believe that there is no alternative to the Syrian-led, Syrian-owned settlement process supported by the United Nations without foreign interference or artificial de deadlines. We note that Damascus is ready for this work and confirms its intention to travel to Switzerland to participate constructively in the seventh session of the Drafting Commission of the Constitutional Committee. On that basis, we will continue to interact with the Syrians, the Special Envoy, and other interested countries, first and foremost, our partners in the Astana format. To that end, in December of last year, the latest meeting of representatives of Russia with the participation of interested parties was held in Nur Sultan. We trust that you, Gare, will also concentrate on conveying, convening the Constitutional Committee without being distracted by other initiatives, especially if they aren't being supported by the Syrians themselves, the Sy Syrian Arab Republic's government and the opposition. Efforts on the political track are especially needed also because the situation in a number of areas in Syria remains tense. Difficulties remain in the regions outside Damascus' control, Idlib, cross Euphra Euphrates, and areas of Turkish operations in the north. We believe that long-term peace and security in Syria can only be achieved by fully rebuilding the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the country, including the Syrian authorities' control over their national borders and their national natural resources, while continuing to combat terrorists. We are deeply concerned by reports of an ISIL terrorist incursion in the northeast of Syria, an attack on a prison where dangerous jihadists were being held, and the flight of a number of them. We believe that the Security Council must receive additional information on what took place there. Therefore, we asked for a separate briefing on this topic as soon as possible, the situation in the northeast of Syria as a whole. The overall improvement of the situation in Syria and around it would be facilitated by the resumption of natural ties with its Arab neighbors, including in the political and economic spheres, as well as the full return of Damascus to its Arab family. In conclusion, we would like to point out the unnatural situation of having the Council spend two days in a row considering various aspects of the situation in Syria while using available resources irrationally. We regret that the political considerations prevail over common sense when our Western colleagues plan the meeting monthly plan of work. We urge that priority be given not to the quantity but the quality of meetings. If necessary, they can always be requested, as our initiative today shows. Thank you for your attention. I thank the representative of the Russian Federation. And